After the Uvalde Elementary School shooting, CBS 11 is searching for answers, not only for the victims and their families of that mass shooting, but for others across the state. Grief and anger, still a lot of questions remain. Wore these every day. Green Converse. Funny story is with those shoes. Green was her favorite color. So when Maite found them on a sale rack. That's how they landed on her feet. And it didn't take her long to wear them in. Hey, why did you draw hard on your shoes? I just got those for you. And she goes, oh, she's like, just because. She's like, I really like them. When you saw them in the White House and Matthew McConaughey was holding them, what were you thinking? What were you feeling at that time? I was thinking of her, yeah. and I was telling her, look how far you've made it. it it's sad that I can't hear her voice. A teddy bear in Jacqueline's room. We have, uh, they gave us a little bears with recordings, you know, and I go in there and, and press the button. Keeps her voice alive. You hear her voice? And just little things like that that, that, that hurt, you know. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Two of 19 students killed, along with their two teachers inside of Rom Elementary. One wanted to be a marine biologist, the other a veterinarian. Jacqueline had just celebrated her first communion. Can you go back to that one, just real quick? Um, that's the picture I saw online. Um, what are you thinking when you see that photo and you see her dressed like that? So innocent. I was there, she looks like an angel, and that's, that's the dress we, she wore to her grave. That dress? Mm -hmm. The growing memorial behind me will one day soon go away, and in fact, so will the school. There are already plans to tear it down. But what could remain here in this town far longer than anyone wants are the lingering, unanswered questions that keep Uvalde up at night. I wanted to finally push, push for support with these gun laws, find answers. I want answers why this police department did what they did or actually why they didn't do what they were supposed to do. And the main question still, why did it take so many officers 77 minutes to breach the classroom door and take out the 18-year-old shooter? No one knows about kids or anything else like that. But supposedly the victims are here. I'm not 100%. There's a bunch of information flying around. They had guns. They had vests. Our children and our teachers were left defenseless to fend for their own lives. And my daughter paid the ultimate price because of their inactions. I just saw the ones that were outside, and when we heard those, grunt, those gunshots, they didn't rush in. You know, they just get, get back, get back. The flawed response has been called an abject and systemic failure. The video showed the world how much time went by, something these parents lived that day. <laughs> of course, we were angry. We told the cops, go, do your job, man. Go, go in there. That we can't because you, you know, we had to hold you back. Like, there's kids in there. People in Texas, people all around the United States support, vote, fight for these children because today it was mine, tomorrow it could be yours. These better trained PD officers, why? Why did they wait so long? Why did they go in and then pull back? While both parents wait for the answer to come out, they too are making sure their children's legacies live on. What would you want these folks to know about what you guys want them to do? Make these changes. Make it a little bit harder for these people. Because if not, things like this are just going to keep happening over and over and over. And uh, I know staying quiet and in the comfort of my home, just grieving my daughter. I'm not putting in my part and I'm not doing her any justice by doing that. Maite, the girl with the heart drawn green shoes. She was just an all around sweet girl. My sweet girl, that's what I called her. 
my sweet girl. And Jackie, who was enchanted by the Eiffel Tower in France, is how their parents want them remembered. Full of love, you know, she was you know, every typical nine-year-old kid, you know, you know happy, um, big-hearted. Thank you, love you, bye. It's been 90 days now since that tragedy. And by the way, the school year in Uvalde is scheduled to begin on September 6th.